Um, first off is stroke exposure. So you can use a bone to control stroke exposure. Um, if you have a, a vector layer that you've converted to 3D through extrude or um, inflate, you can control the, th the thickness of those vector shapes using a smart bone. Also, if you have, let's look at um, this fill effect. If you have the position of a fill effect can be controlled through smart bones. So you see brown on this end and green up here. Um, when I move this, the gradient changes its position in the shape. I can also change um, animated or animatable fill effect settings. So like the gradient colors can be changed with a smart bone. So here, as I move this smart bone, you can see the gradient actually changes its colors. And of course these can be mixed. So if you're um, moving along the timeline, you can see that the, the fill effect position is moving as the smart bone moves and then the gradient colors change. In addition to the gradient color change, this might be a little harder to see, but there's a shadow uh, shading effect on this shape and the shading effect also moves with that smart bone. The stroke exposure and the 3D thickness. So I think at this point, smart bones can control every animatable property of vector layers. That's coming in Anime Studio Pro 9.5.